if Deku had creation part two. So after Deku hugs his mom, he goes to sleep, waiting for that UA letter to come to his house. Now let's time skip to about a week later where his mom busts into his room saying Izuku Zuku Zuku Thought you the letter came from UA as he hops down from his desk and scrambles over to his mom. He's like, really? Can't wait to see if I passed or not. As he shuts the door after his mom leaves, oh, rips open the letter, places it on his desk as he sees All Might pop out. As he's like, ha-ha, young Midoriya, you passed with, gr with great skill with 500 villain points and 100... Hero points. That gives you 600 points. Welcome to your hero academia. And UA. He kind of like whispers that. As the thing self-destructs on Izuku's desk. He rushes over to his door. Slams it open and yells. Mom, I made it. I got in. As she runs over and hugs him. As she starts crying like, oh, I'm so proud of you, Izuku. I can't believe you made it into the best hero school in Japan. As Izuku discovers that he's also crying tears of joy as he thinks, I can finally become a hero just like All Might. As Deku walks back into his room and puts on his calendar the first day of his new high school. Now, when this day comes, Izuku wakes up feeling very happy as he goes, gives his mom a kiss goodbye, and starts walking out towards UA. He takes the train, which a lot of people are like, wait, what? Isn't that a UA uniform? Yo, that's so cool, he's becoming the new generation of heroes, as everyone just starts crowding around him, asking him questions, and he's like, oh, please, I don't deserve so much praise kind of br blushing from embarrassment. So once the once the train stops, he gets off and walks an extra mile to UA. When he's finding the door, he sees that it's huge as he's like, huh, maybe that's for gigantification corks. Hmm, yeah, probably. As he walks in and sees Bakugo getting yelled at by the same blue-haired boy. As Bakugo stands up and runs over to Izuku, as he's like, Izuku, I knew you'd make it, as they both do a handshake, but not really, they both grab each other's hand and just stay there, kind of flexing, kind of like a, um, uh, kind of like a secret handshake sort of thing, so Deku goes and sits down as a, as the same brown-haired girl walks up and says, hi, I'm Ochako Uraraka, Thank you for saving me in the entrance exam. So he's like, oh, no problem. I saw somebody needing needing help, so I helped them. As Uraka kind of blushes at this, she's like, as, they, as Izuku's like, oh, are you okay? Your face is a bit red as he checks her forehead. She's like, oh, um, I'm, I'm fine. As she <laughs> runs back to her desk, kind of contemplating, like, oh, whoa, did he just touch me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, Ida comes up to him and says, I am Tenya Ida. I'm very sorry for calling you out in the entrance exam, and you found points that I didn't know about. So for that, I say I'm sorry and that you were better than me. Steku just waves him off, and he's like, hey, Yeah, but your quirk is amazing. Thanks for letting me. Thanks to, thanks to that, I got extra points. As Ida's like, Wait, what's your quirk? Is it some type of copying quirk? Is it... Zuku just chuckles at this, and he's like, oh no, my quirk allows me to, um, create th create other quirks, but I have to keep it sort of a secret, so if you please, um, you know, keep it a secret, as everyone just turns around and says, your quirks, what? As he's like, oh, oops, I kind of said it too loud, please don't tell anybody, but when I went to the quirk doctor when I was four, he said to keep it a secret, just in case people might try and Come and kidnap me. Spocky goes, slams his hands on Deku's desk, and he's like, Deku, you hid your cork from me? I thought we were best friends. 
his neck, he just laughs, kind of rubbing the back of his neck, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, but at that time, I couldn't really trust you. I mean, we were only four. You could have spread the spread it around like a wildfire. Spockygo just gr rumbles and sits back in his desk violently. Is this weird yellow caterpillar walks in, scaring everybody, as he's like, "You, you will." Took eight seconds to quiet down. We need to work on that. Now put these on and go outside. So everyone's walking as Deku pulls off his shirt. As everyone's just like, "Whoa, Midoriya! I didn't know you, you had such abs." And he's like, "Oh yeah. Ever since I got my cork, I've been working yet." Out since then, because I've wanted to be the greatest hero, just like All Might. So everyone's like, "Yeah, dude, with your quirk and that body, you could become the number one hero, no doubt." Sticky is blushing from embarrassment again as he's like, <laughs> "Thanks, guys." As Deku walks out, as everyone is there, Aizawa says, "Okay, here is Midoriya. Throw this ball since you got the." The highest score in the entrance exam, but this time use your cork. Steku's just like, hmm. As he uh, puts the hand back, as he chucks the ball, puts his hands together, kind of like a Vegeta final flash, as he yells, hmm, what should I say? Since Bakugou yells die all the time, it's kind of stuck with me. Hmm. As Izuku doesn't yell anything, he's just like, ah! Sending a massive green sparkle, flurry, whatever you want to call it, of green explosions right towards the baseball as it gets fried, pitch black, charred from the massive explosion, going flying all the way over until it's out of balance. As Aizawa just looks down and like shaking as the machine is just vibrating back and forth till it says error error meters could not be found distance could not be found as i saw just turns to deku and says i guess you got infinity as he throws bakugo a ball and says okay you got second place and you two sort of have a similar cork so i don't see why you shouldn't get the same score Spockigo chucks chucks the ball again and yells Die! Sending a massive ex explosion, the same color as a normal explosion, right towards the baseball. As it chars a little bit, but it kind of just looks like a burnt baseball. It's not complete. It's not completely charred like it was thrown in a, a bonfire and left there sitting overnight. It just looks like maybe it was thrown in the oven for an hour and then just took it out with like crisp edges. Basically, as Aizawa clicks the machine and it says 705 meters, so he's like, wait, Midoriya, why did you get a higher score? As Deku, Rizuku says, oh, I've been training my whole life, even my cork, so I could become the number one hero. I don't really think Bakugo did, though. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's kind of why. So Bakugo's just like, dang it. Dang it, Izuku! I didn't know you left me behind like that. So Izuku's like, "Oh no, Bakugo! I didn't leave you behind. I just like training more than I than you do, I guess." <laughs> As he rubs the back of his neck, just silently laughing, and he's like, hey, "Yeah." As they do the rest of the tests. As Izuku ends up coming in first, as he sees two other corks. That could be pretty useful. He sees the half and half cork, ice and fire, which he recreates. And then he sees the creation cork that Momo has. So he's like, huh, that's kind of like mine. As he walks up to Momo, as he's like, hey, your name's Momo Yazirozu, right? And she's like, oh yeah, you're Azuki Midoriya, correct? And he's like, yep, your cork's called, your cork's called creation, right? And she's like, oh, yeah, why? And he's like, well, my quirk's quirk creation, so I guess we're not too far off. Mine's just like a mutated version of it, of yours. As Momo's like, oh, yeah, you're right. That's that's really cool. So he's like, yeah. Hmm. Do you mind if I recreate your quirk? Because it's actually kind of useful. And she's like, oh, yeah. 
Now, the reason Deku asked if he can recreate Momo's quirk is sort of because Deku likes asking girls if he can recreate their quirk, but not boys, because he's just like, yeah, they'll probably think that I'll become too overpowered or just stubborn thinking I'll take it, so I'll just copy it. But with girls, I'll, I'll ask nicely, and maybe that could give me a boost on the... I'm just, he's not Moneta, I'm just saying that. So, the next day in class, they're waiting for the hero course. As they hear running down the hall, as All Might burst through the door, and he's like, I'm running through the door like a normal person! So everyone's like, whoa, All Might? Wait, is he in his Silver Age costume? Steku's like, that's not really running in like a normal person, if you ask me. So everyone just looks at him, and they're like, yeah. But All Might's not really normal. He's All Might! As All Might says, okay, today we're going to be doing heroes versus villains. But what heroes would we be without our costumes? As he clicks a button, as 20 suitcases roll out, as he hands them out. Deku clicks open his case. He's like, hey, this is cool. This is going to be fun. Now, please tell me what you guys want his costume to be down in the comments section below. Because I can't really think of anything his costume could be. I mean, his costume could be something like um, a Roman emperor would wear. Like one of those cloths or something like that. I'm not really sure. But I do know he could have an angel cork with angel wing cork or something like that. But I'm not really sure. Just please tell me your suggestions for what his costume should be down in the comment section below. So, once everyone gets trained and goes down there, All Might explains the rules. Is he's like, okay, so I'm going to be taking out these numbers and whoever gets the same number are paired up. As heroes or villains. Alright. A goes. Alright, as he pulls out them and gives them out. As Deku's like, hmm, who's got A? As Momo raises her hand. He's like, oh, yo, Yorozu, you got, you got A too? Well, I guess we're a team. She's like, oh, um, you can call me Momo if you want. Deku's like, oh, I guess you can call me a Zuku then. As All Might pulls out a playoff sort of bracket or something like that. I'm not really sure as it says. So he's like, hmm, Team A versus Team B. Team A will be the heroes and Team D will be the villains. As Deku's thinking about his strategy, as he's like, so Bakugou's probably going to try and go straight after me. So I suggest you try and run off towards the bomb and try and find the bomb and then stay low. Because Ida can just move the bomb with his engine cork. I'll take care of Bakugo. Once you tell me the floor the bomb's on, I'll rush straight up to you. And she says, got it. As All Might yells, the heroes might now enter the building. As they both do. And Suzuku here is running as he pushes y- yep. Yorozu out of the way as he takes Bakugo, one of Bakugo's massive explosions. And he's like, hey, die, Zuku, die. As he keeps sending an onslaught of explosions, only for Deku to throw an explosion that mixes with Bakugo's, but ends up just absorbing Bakugo's power and sending it barreling towards him. So he's like, what? How? As he gets obliterated by this explosion. Not really, but he just get just completely just knocked out as... He's wobbling until he just falls face first. Deku ties him up and hoists him over his shoulder. As he's like, okay, Yowzeros. All right, Momo, where's the bomb? And she says, um, fifth, fifth floor. And Deku starts running up to the fifth floor. And he bursts through the door and puts Bakugo down. As he's like, all right, villain, you're going down. As Deku cracks his fingers. So the villain's like, oh, you're not going to be able to get this bomb that easily, hero. So the goo is just like, oh yeah, well then let's do this. As Deku rushes right at, Deku rushes right at Ida. As Ida does the same, as they connect a blow, 
until Deku, with his free hand, just says, "Hey," as he as he's like, hey, "I just that was just a distraction." As he sends up an explosion, creating a smoke screen. So he's like, "Now, Momo!" As Momo jumps out of the dust cloud, sort of thing or smoke screen, as she touches the bomb, as All Might announces, "Heroes win!" As both as Izuku goes and high fives Momo and says, "That was awesome, Momo. I, you just as I asked. You're gonna become a great hero with your cork." As she's like, "Oh, thanks, Izuku." As they walk away. So that's where I'm gonna leave it off, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. What if Deku had creation, part two? See you guys. Bye.